everyone, welcome back to JMP Saves Cars, presenting to you the sixth video in the series on the Mighty Cat Dozer. I'd like to do a variety of tasks uh, in this episode, and what I'm thinking is an important thing to do is I'd like to see what the fluids look like in those gearboxes. And we're going to move on to taking off the rear um, foot tray and that's going to allow me to have access to take off that rear differential cover and I'm going to be able to discover you know what the condition of the brakes is brakes are and the condition of the gears and if rust has gotten into there who knows who knows it could be anything it's like King Tut's tomb we're just gonna we're just gonna find out so let's uh I'm going to get geared up and I'm going to get myself in the zone and we're going to drain some fluid. We're going to probably make a mess. There's going to be some gross stuff coming out of this. That's my guess. All right, here we go. Oh, hello there. I had one Guy posted a comment saying he couldn't wait to see the schmoo. Well, that makes two of us. So, I already got this one broken free. It's not super thrilled about coming out, but it's moving. My guess is that it's going to be pretty clean. But you never know. You could have that water stuff in there. Drain plug appears to suggest that it's going to be clean fluid. It's only been in there for about 40 years. So this is the fluid coming out from the uh, the forward and reverse clutch box, they call it. It's not bad at all. Let's give it a sniff. Kind of like a, you know, normal kind of burnt oil smell. Somewhat translucent. Yeah. That's not bad at all. No water. That drip will not leave my finger. So this should be 30 weight engine oil. And that is exactly what it seems like to me. So I'm gonna drain this out and then I'll put some diesel in there and then uh, let that sit for a little bit you know a week and then drain that out it's taking its time coming out of there and i suspect that it's not really getting airflow from the top if I can sneak on to this rear one and it didn't really give up much of a fight. Oh, we're in danger zone right here.
Uh oh. I see the clear stuff. Well, hopefully it's not too much of it. I don't know how, but it's like the cleanest, it's like the cleanest water. Oh, let's get it over with. Oh boy. Yeah, that's some schmoo. That is chocolate sauce. Yep. Now tell me that's not cool. I mean, it's not good. It's not good at all. But um, <sighs> what are you gonna do? I mean, what do you expect? I don't even know what that smells like. It's not like, it's not gritty. It's kind of hard to get a good shot of that. It's, that is some thick oil. So, uh, I've got the, I've got the fill plug out and I'm going to try to pour some diesel in and see if it starts coming out. I just heard it come out. I'm gonna have to watch what you just saw to know what just happened down there. But I mean, it couldn't have been worse than the chocolate syrup. fill plug here, or drain plug rather. It's not terrible. You know, that's oil. 
not the best, but it's not the worst. It's it's so thick it won't even move. And it just smells kind of kind of burnt. So I'm gonna put some uh, engine oil right back down the hole. Actually, I'm gonna put diesel first. We're gonna put some stuff in there. Well, mineral spirits can't hurt. I think we'll go with some uh, automatic transmission fluid for uh, the taste. Perfect. A little bit of diesel APF to spice it up. And we'll just leave that in there. There's a fill plug right here that is probably the differential. And I'm guessing there's some kind of wall in between the two. But that's what we're gonna deal with for right now. Maybe we'll drain the diff. I don't know. Oh, I found it. Well, that's good. That's clean. What is that? That's That's pretty good. That's weird. That's like real light. Maybe they do intersect. Yeah. They must because it's kind of like... 
I don't know. Not the worst. Not the best. That's what was inside of the Mighty Cat gearboxes. First and foremost, we've got a situation. This rear drawbar is supposed to be... So before I take this assembly off, I'm going to fix that first. And you know what that means. It's Blue Wrench Time! give these bolts around the perimeter a kiss with the torch and uh, see if they want to come out. Yeah. I'm going to leave this bumper kind of together here and just do one, two, three. That one's missing. Four, five.
So yesterday the power went out all of a sudden and I was left in the dark. So I had to cease uh, working and uh, the wind is quite high today so it could happen again. Hopefully not. I've got all these uh, bolts out of here and I got movement. So I'm gonna poke around at it with a hammer. And see if I can't get this out of here. I feel an injury about to happen. Well, objective is in sight. I need to remove the perimeter bolts here and I can find out what lies beneath. I highly doubt that this has ever been removed. So we're gonna find out. Sometimes bouncing the cover like that can actually help save the gasket. The oil coming out of here it smells like gear oil, but you saw me before I, uh, I dumped a bunch of engine oil in there to help kind of push out some of the bad stuff. All right, I think we're uh, we're at the point of the grand reveal here, and I'm just gonna say a little prayer and say that it's all gonna be just fine. Well, well, that looks that looks pretty good. Cover is you know. Here, I'll flip it around. Cover's got some rust at the top. 
but that's not that's not terrible. So there's the uh, there's the brake bands. Give one of these a tug. Hear that? It makes a squishy noise. So there's actually still a significant amount of material and there's a lot of free play. The drum itself has no groove, nor does that one. Wow. It, this is just this is just some stuff I've I've never really seen before. So it's like a pinion to a ring gear. What is it? And then there's these planetaries. Wow, this is neat. Well, before I go and get a different glove, we're just gonna do, oh yeah. Oh, there's some water. Yep, that's just, that's how this is gonna happen. That's some, uh, that's some thick stuff there. Yep, I figured my day would, uh, would definitely end like this. Oh, what's that? No chunks yet. That is some, that is some stuff. What in the world is that? Well, see, this is another thing that you don't want. All this circulating it never it never did it never got to circulate because this machine was taken apart and we're cleaning everything so that's good this is all good i am thoroughly enjoying this Feels like there is another drain point right there. Yep, sure enough. I can I don't know if I'm making progress here or if I'm just moving it around because it doesn't seem to be getting any better but for some reason I can't stop doing this all right all right I stopped some mineral spirits mm 
let that start digesting the oil. I guess you're going to call it oil. <laughs> Check this out. It's actually really clean. So the, the pinion is on the bottom. Really difficult to see. There's a shaft below that one. And no, I'm not, I'm not a bulldozer expert at all, but the way I'm seeing this work is the, instead of like spider gears, it has uh, axial spur gears like this. And one reaches all the way across and meshes with this so that whatever side stops, of course, can relay the turning one way or the other. And if there were spider gears, one side would turn much faster than the other. This way it's one to one. So the brake band material is actually pretty, pretty thick. That side looks a little bit thinner, but Maybe it's just tight, and uh, once it's operating, it will work right. So I'm gonna go after that drain plug down there, and then I'm gonna jack up the rear of the machine and drain this out. It is unbelievable how how clean it is I can't tell if that's like gray paint or if that's really clean cast iron Well, that's great news. Really good news. Where's the plug? Plug does have uh, got a little bit of chunkage. A little bit. Doesn't seem like metal. Seems like rust. Probably from the water sitting on it. Stick that back in. Oh, 
Well, in the interest of uh, keeping things clean that are already clean, I think I'm gonna give this differential cover a little tidy. and get it back on there. It'll be coming back off. And I'll make a new a new gasket. That's really good news. I'm thrilled about that. There's a little bit of rot going on. Which way was up? Oh, can't mess it up. It's right on the bottom. There's a little bit of rot going on. Some pitting. This bolt right here was actually non-existent. Must have fallen out. have to make another one of these spacers all right so this fill point right here, and this one right here, have me confused. Kind of like they both go to the rear end and the transmission in the middle here is separate. Gone are the days of 
clear written instructions it says right there. Let me read it. Keep oil to keep oil to this plug level. So I wonder if you need to fill it through that plug. I'm going to find out. Pretty clean. I don't see any oil. I got an idea. I went and got Inspector Gadget here. And if you notice, this week I posted a short where this tool came in extremely handy. The Ford 460 that had a push rod uh, and a lifter exit the scenario. I managed to get the lifter with the magnet and you can see the, the bore right there. It's a matter of uh, finagling it just right. Well, there it goes back in its home. Now I just gotta get my magnet out for this one. First. Okay, there we go, extracting the tools. No problem, right? I just gotta get a close up of my arthroscopic surgery. Sometimes I don't know what I would do without this. So, what I'm thinking here. picture we can there's the hole we can take a look around oh geez I flipped over I think we're gonna make a upward trajectory There's a collar, a fork. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay. So that, that appears to be third gear. There's the collar for reverse. And first is that direction. You can find it. There it is. Reverse. First. That looks interesting. Cool. That all looks pretty darn good in there. I'm not scared about that. So I just mixed up some uh, WD-40 from a gallon container and motor oil, used motor oil. give the transmission a, a drink until it comes out. It's better than what was in there. We can say we have a look in here. Now, I already kind of had a look in here because two of the bell housing bolts are actually underneath this cover going that way. So initial inspection looked pretty good. But we're gonna have, we're gonna have a look. goes. Handy trick. Look at that. That hole is cut with a torch. You see the yellow on the inside. Let's have a let's have a look at what happens when I go back to neutral. is neutral.
cool. There is the actual clutch mechanism. You can see when I move, I move the lever. Need to get some lube in here. Try and turn. Wow. All right, so I'm going clockwise with my hand. You can see the power flow stops at the rear. Now, I just pulled the drive lever back. Tracks are now going in reverse. What gear am I in? I think I'm in second. See so, you know, how that's the front is. Oh, I gotta get a bit of a white center road. That is reverse. Let me switch the. Now we're in forward. Wow. So then in that position, the clutch on the left is driving and the one in the rear is disconnected. That's, that's a really cool mechanism. So now that front one will be kind of rotating. Okay. This seems to be now. A little bit sticky going that way. Well, that's the drivetrain, end-to-end, -end, minus investigating those um, portals. And it's all in really good shape. Nothing at all to be worried about. Oh. Well, it's the end of the day for me. And uh, I'm going to go home and edit this video so that you guys can watch it. Hope you're enjoying this and do my best to 
keep going one week at a time and I'll make this machine work. You can bet on it. Good night.